AT&T National. Congressional. This is some serious stuff in the world of golf. A very prestigious tournament and an even more prestigious course. And two of the world's top ten players were there. Two. You and I love golf, so we can sit down on a Sunday to watch Bill Haas outduel Roberto Castro and be entertained, but not everyone can. In fact, most can't. There isn't much the sport can do to force players to play. As long as they're paying for their own travel, they will always have the right to make their own schedule. But here's something they could do differently. Market their players. In other sports, think the NBA or NFL, there are at least 30 to 40 players we get to know, and we get to know them well. But in golf, we get too reliant on Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson or maybe Sergio Garcia if he decides to make a bad joke that week. But consider, also in the top 25 are names like Charles Schwartzel, Jason Duffner, and Peter Hansen. What could you tell me about those guys? And we can't use the excuse that some of them are international players. Soccer is growing like kids' hair, and almost all of the stars in that sport are international. Put their names on the back of their golf shirts, or, or have each one do like Payne Stewart used to do. Pick an NFL team and wear the colors. Do something, anything, to help us get to know these guys. There's only one Tiger, and he won't play forever.